Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to go through a primer on how we set uh, permissions on Windows shared folders, what they are. But first, I want to let you know, this is specifically just a primer. Regulatory and organizational requirements uh, may make this different. So this is just kind of how we do it for a shared uh, folder and for like user permissions. And I'll kind of explain this um, as we go along. So here we are, we're over at our Windows Windows server. And what I've got is I've got this shared folder, right? So this shared folder uh, could be uh, called users, which I, I've already got one called users, so I'm not gonna use that. But this one, let's just say that this shared folder is where my individual user folder is for this demonstration. Like I said, you're gonna to have to take what I'm showing you here and adapt it to your environment. So the very first thing that we try to do is unless you um, have a requirement that says users should not even see that a shared folder exists at the top of the folder. Now there's a difference between share permissions and then folder and file permissions. So if you don't have access to the share, you can't see anything in the share. So for like this shared folder, what we would do is uh, we can come in here, go to sharing, and uh, simply we can just give everyone uh, permission, right? So we're gonna go ahead and hit share. And we're just gonna say everyone, because we're gonna set, I don't know what that was. We're gonna set uh, permissions uh, deeper, right? So we're going to do uh, read, write, and we're going to go ahead and hit share. So now what we've done is we've shared that folder. We've made it available on the windows server to everyone. So everyone can browse to this server. And if they have a uh, proper, properly uh, set up workstation with credentials, they're going to be able to see this folder called shared. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click run and I'm going to show you I go to local host, uh, you can see that is the only shared folder that exists. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna minimize this. So now the folder is shared for everyone. So now they can get into the folder. They have default read write permissions. So now inside the folder, I have this folder called Willy and I only want Willy and domain admins to be able to get into this folder you know, uh, in an organization, when things are structured, structured properly, your don domain admins are going to do management's bidding, right? So if management needs somebody to get in and check these files out, they're going to come to a domain administrator. So I want to restrict now the permissions on this folder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to properties and I'm going to go to security. So this is not a share permission because this is folder already exists in the share we created that gives everybody permission to see these folders. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit advanced because I don't want everyone to have permission. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, disable inheritance and I'm going to remove all inherited uh, permissions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and I'm going to select Willie because Willie is a user and I'm going to give uh, Willie everything except full control. And um, I'm going to click OK. And you're going to see it applies to this folder, sub subfolders, and files. So now everything inside the Willy folder, Willy has access to. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, domain admins. And this is, uh, let's see here, domain admins. Uh, this is not a domain machine, so I'm just going to say administrators. If this was on a domain, I would do domain admins here. Forgot that this was not a uh, domain, but I'm going to give administrators full control and bonus points for you if you can tell me what the difference is with having the full control uh, checkbox turned off a little bit of homework for you let me know down in the comments what the difference is in these permissions so i'm going to go ahead and say okay say okay and now you can see that uh, willie has uh, modify access so everything except full control but then administrators in a domain this would be domain administrators has uh, full control. Now we try to do things based on groups unless it's a private folder. So like in this Willy folder, I might keep employee reviews or notes that I don't want anyone else to see. 
Now, if I have a shared area where multiple people need to get into it, I'm going to use a group. I'm not going to come in and I'm not going to specify the user. I'm going to have like domain users as a group because we don't want to get into the business of on broad folders that a lot of people need access to uh, specifying specific users. We want to use groups. It's much easier to manage that way. And it gets a little less sticky when we have to terminate uh, an account, right? So if I go ahead and click OK here, and then I bring up localhost, and now I go into shared, and now I can go into the Willy folder. So that's it. Like I said, regulatory and organizational uh, compliance may have you do this in a different way. This is a good building block. Remember, there is that difference between shared at the top and then the file and folder permissions underneath. And if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, all of our clearly marked affiliate links are down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.